Y'all remember when there was like a big scary red ship right here? Um, and that was like a ghost ship, I think it was. Yeah, that's scary stuff, dude. That was, um, that was, uh, actually the easiest fucking legendary ship. At this point in the story, we've seen people betray Edward. We're learning what kind of man Edward is. His friends have hidden agendas. He has a very clear motive. He's at least been open about what he's trying to accomplish um, in his fucking life. And he's just trying to get untold riches from a prize that he has no idea what it's even about. And to be honest, I don't even remember what it's about. I honestly can't recall what this is. So, dude, let's get this good ass story. Sailing for the coast of Africa. Now let's fucking get it, dude. Principe, I can't wait to get all that shit. Why are the sails up, though? You want the sails down, man. Principe! Finally, dude. Finally. We have a treasure map that links to this. This is it! This is it. I'll have to I'll have to show this shit real quick and then call it a fucking day. Well first let's sink some enemy ships. I have the most badass jackdaw ever, so this should literally be no problem, my dude. Oh no gumbo! Cool, man. I don't. This like this is so just all refreshing to remember. This just see, experience this shit again for the first time. I love this, dude. I, I I forget. I don't remember these things like often. You know, it's been a few years since I've done this, dude. The sage is here apparently, dude. What the hell, man? I'm off to find Roberts. Don't stay long. Who's getting restless? Out there? I know, Addy, like, they're all getting impatient with you, man. Man. They always capitalize the M. That's, like, where they emphasize their words, is how they capitalize it in the, uh, in the subtitles. They're getting impatient out here, man. man uh, I can't really see shit. All you see is the sea, dude. It's just the ocean. Well, there's one chest. I'm so close to getting like 100% on the collectibles and stuff. And this is one of those locations, dude. This is one of the locations where I'm missing. So let's get all the shit and let's make it enjoyable, my dude. Dude, that's what I'm talking about. Fuck my friends, dude. I told them I'm the best at video games and they just didn't believe me. I tried convincing them, my dude. So my thing is this. So we're probably just going to have to do this shit first before we can actually, you know, go and get these guys. But, dude, these are all, like, nice, fresh, original colors. It's kind of refreshing, honestly. I appreciate it. Nope. I'm just a monkey, dude. Just a misunderstanding, my dude. Oh, that's so fucked up, man. Might as well get that, my, that animus fragment, my dude. This game makes me happy, man. This game, like, in its exotic environment, just really, like, puts a smile on my face. But what doesn't put a smile on my face is this shit. So, Roberts is, like, here. I'm trying to get this chest. So, there's all these dead dudes, or drunk dudes, or something. So, he's here, right? Captain Kenway. Yet another dire situation, Roberts. We really must stop meeting like this. Stop tailing me and your wish had come true. There's no need for this. You know I'm as good as my word. Our Captain Howell was killed today in a Portuguese ambush. Portuguese. A strong fool. I warned him not to go ashore. It was orchestrated by the Templars Burgess and Cockrum. The same sort that took you to Havana. Ah, I see now there is no escaping the Templar's attention, is there? I suppose it is time to fight back. I do like the sound of that. Dude. And I know <sighs> just how I'll do it. But these men, Burgess and Cockrum, 
They cannot be allowed to leave with word of my escape. They won't. They're gonna they're gonna die, dude. If you spot any men from my crew, do them some kindness and send them here. I'll do all I can. So we're gonna double assassinate them and free pirates. And we're gonna get all the collectibles and stuff, and then dude, it's gonna be lit. You know what's interesting? The lore, like the custom made lore made behind real historic characters. Some fun trivia. I looked it up, dude. I looked this up. Dude, Bartholomew Roberts is deemed the most successful pirate in the golden age of pirates. I don't know, like, I don't know if you guys knew that or what happened, but... Yeah, um, he was, he's considered the most successful pirate because of how many ships he's plundered. Okay, I'm gonna go in here. All this stuff this dude, like all they, all they, or what am I trying to say? All this custom lore that Ubisoft does is just so interesting, man. It's just so cool. Whoa, Shitsky, dude. So as those dudes are walking away, and as these dudes are walking away, we're going this way. Um, this is, if you want to just come here one time and just get everything you can from here, this is how you do it. We're just going to berserk dart one dude and cause a distraction, I think. He's not feeling too good, so help him out. Alright, we're going to get this chest. This is probably... This is probably the last mission in Sequence 9. Sometimes, sometimes it really do be like that, boys. Sometimes it just, you know... You don't have to do much for a, for a sequence. And that's how it was for all the games. Sometimes there's just not much to a sequence. I think I'm gonna berserk dart one of the gunmen, or both of them, actually. Nope, 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 nope. No, sir. I'm not in here, dude. Ah, oh, it's so fucked up. Oh my goodness, dude. I'm saving these pirates. Are these my pirates or Okay, well that animus fragment's gonna have to wait. So we're gonna have to yeah. That's <laughs> I'm not diving off that shit quite yet. Alright boys. <laughs> I ran out of time yesterday, you know, life happens, I gotta go to work. Etc. etc. Um, we're not getting... These fragments, you know, I, I said it yesterday. We have to get this viewpoint. And I fucked up, and I died. Okay, we're gunning. Gunning for a billion. Dude, all I need is this for the... Yeah, there you go. He's totally not visible or nothing, dude. That would have been fucked up if he just saw... Came right over here, just looked. Thanks, dude. This guy can honestly get a handful of, uh, or a back full of blade. Cause I'll tell you what fucked me over last time. Somehow, getting shot one time by a rifle put me at, like, no, literally no health, and then I died. I got attacked. It was so fucked up. I'm gonna try and get this guy right there. No, 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 no. Yes, no, sir. Thank you very much. Not trying to get shot and then killed again right away. Dude, like one shot. Like one shot. That's super fucked up. Like, come on now. I mean it. It was one shot. I just died and I got whacked. Oh! I didn't want that to happen. Got whacked by a little dude with a little knife. All right, well, on the bright side, at least we have this viewpoint. This viewpoint is going to be important. Uh, it's a little goofy one. How else are you supposed to get up there otherwise? But I see now that this viewpoint is required. It is essential because we have to go down and we got to double assassinate these guys. Oh 
my god, hella enemies. You know how Edward Kenway is. He's a dude, loves his freedom, loves his ability to just be an, a human being and climb any tree that he desires. Putting guards to sleep and such. Such things, such actions, such as like that. Uh, oh, there they are. This will be interesting. We gotta double assassinate these guys. Dude, I can totally just do it right now. I'm gonna do it. I'm going for it. I'm going for it! Go for the kill! Let's go, boys! You did us good, Kenway. Proved yourself a true bravo. And for what? His own bloody pride. You stepped in the path of my prize. Not a thing a man should do. <laughs> a cocksure, Cully. Just like Hornigold said. That Templar scab means nothing to me. None of you do. And you're worse for it, Kenway. It were the Templars who took us in when all else went to shit. Not our king. Not our country. The Templars. The Templars is our family. Where's yours? He's working on it. He's working on those assassinos. We're making progress towards that step towards the family. Honest service. There are thin columns. No wages. Yet, as gentlemen of fortune, we enjoy plenty and satisfaction. Oh, here's uh... and ease, liberty and power. So what man with a sensible mind would choose the former life when the only hazard we pirates run is a sour look from those without strength or splendor? <laughs> now, I have Dude. been on you six weeks. And in that time, I have adopted your outlook as my own. And with so fierce a conviction that it may frighten you to see your passions reflected from me I'm just listening in to so this guy. stark a light. But... If it's a captain you see in me now, I then will be a bloody captain. Yeah! Yeah, dude! For I have dipped my hands in muddied waters, and withdrawing them, find it better to be a commander than a common man! Yeah! Oh. Yeah! You fatten with your assistance. I'm looking for the observatory. Folks say you're the only man that can find it. Folks are correct. Despite my distaste for your eagerness, I see in you a touch of untested genius. I'm Bartholomew Roberts. Edward. I have no secrets to share with you now. Dude, ah. Uh. But if you'll lend me your aid, in two months' time, west of the Leeward Islands, well, it's there you'll get some answers, I promise you. Dude, that's a solid 10-4. Um, Roberts is, uh, is, uh, what do you call it? Interesting character, dude. He's, um, oh my goodness. What's to come with this guy? Thanks for watching Sequence 9.